hello welcome back to l talks uh, this is an introduction video which will be featured in every episode after this one but here we go so this podcast is l talks my name is alex george i am a stand-up comedian and this podcast i created nearly two years ago to just basically chronicle uh my journey into starting stand-up uh so but there's uh, other episodes that are nothing to do with stand-up it's just interest that i have it so it'll be kind of it's mainly based on comedy but it is a general podcast as well so um if you want to support me i have merchandise this lovely podcast sticker here i'll talks you can buy that if you would like to buy one you can go into my social media links are all down below in the description on my link tree as well you have access to everything i have a instagram page for the podcast i have an instagram page which is my personal one but i use that for comedy so you can check me out there follow me there and that is all um episodes usually come out on tuesday but sometimes they may come out on other days during the week and then on Thursdays, uh, if I am around anywhere doing comedy gigs, I record comedy vlogs. So you can listen to those. They usually come out on Thursdays. And that's that. Um, so yeah, all the links down below. Link tree. Um, I have Buy Me A Coffee now if you want to support me uh, as well. Links for that down below as well in the description. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And now on to the episode. So I will now reveal what happened at this wonderful gig, Show Me The Funny. Um, it didn't get through, um, well, until I know the other wild card act, because a wild card act got picked on the night, so three people went through. Um, all deserved winners. Um, it was actually a really nice gig, because everyone there I knew, apart from John McDermott, who won the heat. Well done to him. Um, he completely blew the place apart with his uh, set. Really likable guy. Um, everyone who performed was, you know, top notch performance. I really enjoy myself. Um, <clears throat> I like I said, even though I didn't get through, well, until I know the, the wild card act in a couple of weeks' time, the next one to go through. I probably did. I'd say the best set I ever did ever in my life, I think. Um, it was really fun. Like like I was saying, a couple of people from work came down, including my boss and stuff. They, they all really enjoyed it. It was a brilliant night. Every single comedian was on the lineup. Um, you know, had amazing, amazing sets. The crowd response was brilliant. Um, actually, when we were upstairs uh, chatting with this lovely gentleman, Jerry, who is the organizer, he also books for a lot of uh, comedy for a lot of the major festivals in Ireland. And he was talking to us beforehand, guys, we're going through the rules and blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, you know, I'm very proud of you. I love you all. Um, which is, you know, he said, he goes, he goes, go up there, go up there and have fun. And but you said, you know, have fun. It's, you know, it's, he goes, I'm very happy for all of you to be here, to, you know, because like a couple of, there was a, a fellow, Sean, came down from Northern Ireland. He drove like four hours to get there. He actually won his heat, so well worth in the end. But it was just such a nice night. Um, Carol Spain headlined, which was, oh, <laughs> once again, um, when I at this stage I was sitting down uh, with the people I work with, my colleagues, and I was like, you know, uh, I do comedy, and here's a professional. Because Carol delivered probably one of the best standards of comedy I've seen. I'd say ever live he completely just tore the room apart great crowd work his moment here was brilliant it was just a very fun and engaging night and I had a little chat with him as well so it was very nice he's a very very nice man you know I just I was completely over the moon with the night and actually because the, like they closed the king's head early because it's not like a late night bar so I went to a different bar and then there was people there that were at the show and we were talking and I was talking to this other person who wasn't at the show, but she overheard us. Like, oh, you're a comedian. I was like, yeah, I've got a business card. She's like, oh, my God, you have a business card. I was like, that's, that's not an impressive thing. I'm like, Vista Print 
are they're cheap like 250 for like 15 16 euro i go look here's two things that you can get really easy in life business cards and a website websites um are pretty pretty easy to get now domain is not that expensive per year or whatever else or if you want to go the cheap option route, you could even use link tree like just what i use because it's free and very easy to use and very handy um I think no, that's the end of the episode. No, it's not going to be the end of the episode. But like I said, I'm just very, very happy. Um, I am definitely uh, a very... What's the word? I need to leave that. Some, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely glad that I did it. That I did it. That I <clears throat> applied and performed. Because, like I said, probably the best set I'd ever done. The crowd were really, really responsive to all my jokes. <clears throat> it like like I was saying it was uh, <clears throat> I don't you know I don't go to my personal life on the podcast because that's not what the podcast is about it's about me doing comedy and other kind of general things but there was there was the hardship last year that I unfortunately had to experience um but it was me doing all the gigs and like the 30 gigs I did and building up my set and stuff and it really just really really paid off so that's why I was really like I mean after the journey after I performed because I went up second um the guy who went up first he's only been doing stand-up like a couple of weeks and after the gig like we were talking so I mean like he was the same as I think I told you before Ty Groby owns like I mean he's stage present from the time I met him, I think it was March or so last year, his stage presence became very, very good, very, very quickly. And it was just, it was, it was, how will I put it? It was just amazing to see that, you know, and really enjoy myself, really, really happy. So, you know, like, you can't win everything, but it would, well, I don't know if I've won yet because I could get picked as a wild card, uh, which is a possibility. And it's kind of lost for well, not lost for words, but just trying to. This probably be a short enough episode anyway. But it was it was nice. It was just really nice to be in that kind of fun, loving support dance. We had you know because of, like I said, I knew all the comedians. It was really nice. It was nice for my colleagues from work to see me. That you know on the days that I'm not on work, when I'm off, to to see me uh, perform and see what I do out there honing my craft and whatnot so it was it was nice thoroughly enjoy myself you know um two gigs did down so far this year and one of them happens to be the best one i've ever did which is i think very very nice um i'm trying to think yeah got crash and burn next week which is fun um at the final for show me the funny is on the 27th so a little bit over a month away or under it's because today is well i'm recording this on the 25th but this will be out in like two weeks time this is the future talking um it's my birthday soon as well a week uh well six days after the uh crash and burn gig which is very nice i don't know if i'll do comedy that week because it is my birthday. I would like to celebrate it, but uh, it d- depends how I'm, I'm working, really. Because, uh, well, I won't be working on my birthday, but it's a Wednesday gig. Wednesday. I don't know if there's any gigs on Wednesday. I could just willy-nilly sign up for. Um, no, I don't think so, really. Mm, think, yeah. No, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think there is anything on Wednesdays. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any open mics Wednesdays. No, I don't think so. Unfortunately, um, I did say um when I was on stage, which I promised to myself I wouldn't, but I kind of um the the set went well, but I decided to swap out one of the jokes for a different one because the I was really happy with the crowd response. Was kind of they're on board with the stuff I'm saying they're happy enough for the material so I was like you know it's just I just finish on this kind of a what could possibly be a bombshell joke could have made bomb but um the audience really enjoyed it because there was a lot of kind of similar jokes on the same material which I'm not going to tell you the joke because that'll be 
spoiling it for later on when they do the solo show. That's one of the reasons I haven't reached footage yet because the, those the, some of the jokes are done, but I still kind of want to work on them. Um, got talking to places where to perform up in Northern Ireland, which is good because I do want to go up there some stage and perform, which will be very very fun. Um, looking forward to doing that at some stage in the year and enjoy myself. Yeah, but I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, first, yeah, that yeah, so, yeah, this is my first comedy competition. Um, I've never done one before, so it's interesting. Um, no, that's a lie. Box comedy and then the Gong Show, but the Gong Show is kind of a different competition. It's um, it's still a competition, but it's just different how it's performed. Um, but that is all anyway. Gonna leave it for this week. And I shall see you. This episode will be out in like two weeks' time. So I don't know what what's the schedule like. Let me look. This week's episode is out. Yeah, because I'm gonna upload the, the episode today on the twenty first for this week. And then this is a recording of the one in the following week. Which is the 29th to the 4th. Yeah, so it'll be like the week of my birthday. I'll, I'll talk to you about Crash and Burn and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that is all. Um, thanks to the recent subscribers as well. Um, there's been a couple. Thanks for subscribing. Really helps. And as per usual, uh, thanks for all the support, thanks for watching, and stuff like that. And I shall see you all next week. Goodbye.